Hi there, I'm Steve the Bread Guy and today I'm going to show you how to do something most people would never even bother to try. Check this out. Mmm. This is dark rye bread. See? Exactly the way you get it in the stores. Lovely. Tastes really good. Nice beautiful color. Let me show you the whole loaf. It's really really nice. Right there. Looks yummy doesn't it? Okay, well if I can do it, you can do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really nice dark, dark rye bread. Let's push that out of the way. Like all breads, it starts with some yeast. So we're going to take two, two teaspoons of yeast, put it in a bowl. One, two, and then two cups of hot water, hot, hot enough so that when your finger's in the tap, it starts to hurt. Just barely starts to hurt. No hotter. Okay, and we're just going to wait for that to um, bubble and uh, form a scum on the top. And once it does that, we'll be ready for the next step. So just give me a second. Okay, so um, there's a nice scum on the top of this uh, on the top of this water now. So the yeast is definitely activated. So now we can start making this into a rye bread. First things first, we should put in two teaspoons of salt. There's one, two. Okay, so with the salt in, uh, normally what we do is we just add the flowers. But um, this time, because we want it to be a nice dark brown color, like I showed you, we need to add a few things are, which are going to give it that color. The first is just regular cocoa powder. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons, okay. And then we also put in some molasses. The molasses helps give it a sweet flavor and definitely makes it brown. So one two give that a stir and now we start putting in the flour so i start with two cups of uh, regular white flour one two it's actually more like one and a half i think and as you can see it's a nice muddy color now nice and brown so it's definitely going in the right direction And then it's time for some rye flour. I put inconveniently way in the corner. So, two cups of rye flour, dark rye flour. And, I don't know if you can see this, but dark rye flour is not actually all that dark. You can get dark rye flour at organic food stores. Um, occasionally you'll get it in a regular big grocery store, but generally I find that bulk food stores or um, organic stores have it. It's not very expensive, but I guess there's just not that much demand for it in a lot of regular grocery stores. Historically, the way dark flour and white flour worked was the richer you were, the whiter the bread you ate. Um, white flour is more highly processed, so even back in the day of windmills, being the mills that turned and made the flour, um, it took more effort to make a white flour than it did to do a dark flour. Seems there's more of the original wheat in the dark flour. So poor people ate dark bread and rich people ate white bread. And of course now, in terms of style, it's sort of turned around. We've, the bread industry's found a way to mass produce white bread, but there isn't as much demand for dark bread, so it's the flour which is less common. And as a result, it seems snobby in some quarters to try and do dark breads, but that's just silly, seeing as dark bread is frankly better for you than white breads are, seeing as more of the original good stuff is still in there, more of the original fiber is still in there. So, it would not be a bad thing if more of us ate darker breads. It's one of those strange things, the more the more we do to try and improve something, often the further we get from the quality that was originally in it. Okay, so this is turning out nicely. It's uh, 
it's still a little bit wet. So I'm just push it down there. Soaking up more of the rye. Okay, so we've got a nice ball there. Okay, so our last step is just put a little bit of oil into the bowl. Spread it around. Put the dough in there. Turn it over once. And then put a towel on top. Now you might have noticed I'm using a metal bowl. That's perfectly okay as long as you're not making an acidic bread. So if I was doing a sourdough bread or something that was obviously on the acidic side, don't use metal, it messes things up. But for a sweet bread like this, it'll be fine. So this is gonna rise for about an hour or so and then it'll be ready to go. Um, and I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. See you in a bit. Okay, so now it's time to figure, see how our rye bread is doing. As you can see, it's risen very nicely, nice and big. So we're just going to punch it down and then we're going to uh, let it rise one more time. So punch, 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 it just deflates right away. Just knead it a little bit. Science used to say that, or rather, Baking tradition used to say that you needed to knead your bread quite a lot. But nowadays science says that's not quite so important. So I don't need it a huge amount. I'm going to divide this into two pieces because I like small rye breads. And just make sure they're both nice and round. And I'm going to take a pan, put some oil on the pan. Keep them well separated though because they are going to. Um, expand quite a bit on the second rise. So there's one. And here's another. Voila. So two nice round rise, still nice and brown. And they will only get browner of course as we bake them. And just put them underneath that cloth again and leave it and we'll be back and just hopefully around 45 minutes to put them in the oven. Okay, so let's see how our rye has done. Oh, very nice. So it's risen really nicely. I'll just give you a bit of a close up there. So now we're gonna get them ready for the oven. Now to make these rye breads really fancy looking, um, there's a couple things you can do. One is take some egg white, just basic egg white, and apply it to one of the breads. Let's do it softly so you don't deflate it. You don't want to do that. And then take some of this stuff. And these are just rye flakes. You can get them in um, health food stores and stuff, bulk food stores as well, and just sprinkle it on top. This is how the bakeries make it look fancy, and you can do it too. It's no big deal. Just spread it around like that. The oven is set at 350, um, and these will take about 20 minutes to bake. Don't put it at 400 because of the molasses and the um, cocoa powder. It will burn very quickly if you keep it at 400. So it's got to be at a lower temperature for a slightly longer bake. So um, around 20, 25 minutes at 350 will make it come out very, very nice, as you will see in a moment. So I'll be back once these are baked. And here they are. Very nice. Very, very nice. You can see that one is looking beautiful. This one closed in a little bit, but it'll taste great. This is how you make professional looking bread. Um, it's not hard. You can do it. It's easy to do at home. Uh, you just have to take a little bit of time, just a couple of hours. But let's face it, most of us spend a couple of hours watching TV every night. So it's not a big deal to make bread at the same time. And then you can have it for the rest of the week, take it to work have it on the weekend, take it to parties. Very popular thing to do at parties. So that's how you make a dark rye. It tastes great. I highly recommend that you try it because if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing some of your breads. Please send me some pictures. Bye for now.